All right, so that was in the first part. In the second part, let's see exactly what's happening inside our code. First, to see what's happening, I put a debug point on the first line that we have to try. So when we run the application, I'm going to have different scenario. The first scenario, we enter valid values, 100 and 5 gallons. And then I click on miles per gallons. So here, my debugger is sitting at this statement. So if I click on step over here, okay, so there was no error with this statement. So I expect to have in miles 100, and I do. Now if I click on the next one, again there is no error here. I expect to have in miles 100, so in gallons uh, 5, so I got 5. So I got my input correct. All I do now, I do my calculation. So if I do my calculation, now I got the division and I'm happy. When I click on step over again, I skip the catch because there is no error I have. I don't have any error. And I went to the last statement in this code that does what? It takes the value that you calculated and con ca concatenated to it to miles. And then you click on, you can click on next or just run. And then I got my result, no problem. All right. Now if I put an error here intentionally, if I type in an invalid value, and I click on miles per gallon again. Okay, I stop there. Now remember when we define the variables, I have gallons, miles, and MPG equal to zero. If I click on next here, because I entered non-numeric value, I will get an error here. See, I got an error, and I got an exception. That exception, because of that, I skip everything else after that statement. So if I have the error here, it will skip all the things underneath it because the error, I have an error and it jumps automatically to the exception statement. Because I don't have anything in the exception, I don't do anything right now, but it'll just, you can see what's happening. You step over, you're in the exception. And to see what is the exception, you can look at it, just click at that, and then you see format exception was cut. It mean, here's the for, this is the exception. The description of that exception is what the, the data that input string was not in a correct format. Basically, it's an invalid value. All right? Okay. So now if I click on step over again, watch what happens. I go back to that. But because mile per gallon has zero, I will get zero miles. If we don't want this to happen, if we wanted to only show this when we have a mess, when we have value, where do we, what do we do with this? We cut it, we cut it, and we put it in the last statement in my try. Because if everything okay, I will reach that statement. If everything, if there's anything hap if any er error happened, I will never reach that statement. So we'll do that in a minute. But do you see what's happening inside the, the code? Now if you click on run, Nothing happens, but you get that zero miles in your code. All right, we want to modify the program a little bit. We want to actually show a message that there was a problem with the code, with the data entered, and then we don't want to show this zero mile. We want it to show the miles only if there, is a, uh, uh, if there was no error. So I'll stop that, and let's do this. I'll cut this from here, control X, and put it in here the last statement in my try and I will put a message dialog box here that says show and it should say invalid value entered anyway the all invalid value entered is for somebody an average user would, would understand. But if I want to know what is the exception that, what was the exception, I will print it out for me as a programmer to know what is the error. So how do I do that? I just say console dot write line. In real application, what you do, you actually do what with this? You write it into a log file. So you go to the log file and find, find the errors. But here, what I'm gonna do, just say type in ex, to string 
and that, that would print out the message, the error message. Okay? Okay, so two things happen. You show the message, and then we print this in the console application that tells me there is an error. All right, so now let's run it again and see what happens. If I enter a value here, uh, I'm not, I enter a correct value here, but I enter an incorrect value here. If I click on miles per gallon, so the first one will happen, be okay, watch. Next, it's okay, first statement. The next one will give me an error, and it jumped to the catch. If I step over, it went to the first statement in the catch, which is that message box. If I step over, here's my message, invalid value enter. If I step over that, I will get the output in my, that message that says the, the description of the string, okay? So let's go ahead and run it. And let me show you the output here because the output is not showing. I'll show you the output window uh, view uh, output. Here is the exception. Do you see that? Remember when I said uh, EXT, we printed out the uh, EXT to string? Here's the exception. Input string was not in the correct, for, is not in the correct format. You got the idea? I'll stop here and I'll give you a break.